Hello. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tag some people if I can. Tag, tag, tag. Invite, invite, invite. I'm just gonna go down the row here, see if I can get some people on. How's everybody doing this evening? Hello. <sighs> hello, hello, hello. If you're watching live, let me know. Let us know that you're watching live in the comments below. Um, I'm gonna keep tagging. I'm tagging um, all the people that I see. Um, so, if you do not get tagged, it's because you're not like at the top here. I'm just go. Whoops, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay. All right, so if you guys want to tag some people, please tag some people. And it's Charlie and Connie. <laughs> <sighs> This is our Christmas show. I'm all Christmassy and Charlie's not. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I know that a lot of you are probably watching the Miss America show tonight. Um, so, you know, I just want to let you know that, you know, you can um, record it. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to be turning this other phone on because I cannot see who's watching from there so if you're watching live please let us know that you're watching live in the comments below and if you're watching the replay let us know that you're watching the replay okay I want to thank a few people right now uh, this is the last live that Charlie and I will be doing in 2019 <laughs> in 2020 it's only like a couple weeks away so 2020 yeah and so um yeah this will be the last one next week is Christmas and then the week after that we're just gonna be off and then we'll be ready to roar in 2020 okay another announcement is that um, the winter weight loss challenge it's just to get us through these holidays and into the winter okay um, we might put a little bit of a hold on that until January 1st, but we're still going to contact e each other and, you know, make sure that we're all getting through the holidays okay. I'm not doing too good on my uh, exercise right now. So, we will start fresh and new January 1st, okay? And so... But, like I said, we'll still support each other through these holidays, but we're just going to put a little bit of a hold on it, okay? All right, no problem. And then I do want to thank uh, many of you that have sent us cards, Christmas cards and some Christmas gifts. I really do appreciate that. Uh, we both do. Um, today, I received 31 Days of Prayer Guide. I love this, and it's for 31 days. And it has a prayer for each day and a little devotional. Thank you, Amanda Bird. <laughs> <laughs> I really love it. I really appreciate it so much. Um, I can't wait to dive into this for 31 days. And I'll probably start it um, on January 1st. That'll get me through the whole month of January. <laughs> thank you so much. And I do want to say thank you, Charlie and I both do, to... All of our uh, administrators that are on this group page, Laura Davis from Pennsylvania, Michelle Robinson from Texas, uh, Charlene Stewart from Ohio, or wait, Illinois, <laughs> Amanda Melby from Oklahoma, Kim Back from Tennessee, Robin Thompson from Pennsylvania also, and then, of course, Coach Clint and his beautiful wife, Cheryl, they live out in California, and they are going to also be helping us uh, starting in January again as well. And I do want to remind you guys to check out this group page 
for his videos. He's been posting some videos here lately um, on intermittent fasting and his exercise videos and oh, there's just all kinds of stuff. So you can just scan through this page or you can, uh, there's a little search bar on this group page where you can put in intermittent fasting or um, exercises, uh, just all kinds of stuff. Also, please subscribe to his YouTube channel. Um, he's trying to get all the subscriptions he can get uh, in order to give us great videos and great information too. So, uh, please sub subscribe to his channel and we just really appreciate him and appreciate all the administrators that help uh, answer your questions and work on this uh, community to make it even better, all right? And we're gonna continue to go through the holidays. You know, like I said, uh, there might be a day or two that we skip, maybe Christmas, because <laughs> we'll all be busy, you know what I'm saying? But uh, we will be on here reaching out to you guys and also just getting us through the holidays with our eating and our mental capacity, which I will probably need some counseling when this is all over with. <laughs> And all of the above. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the cards. Thank you for the gifts. We really love you guys and appreciate you. Awesome. So what's going on, Charlie? You got your Dallas Maverick yeah. shirt on. Are they playing tonight? No, they're not playing tonight. <laughs> they played last night and they're playing tomorrow night. Okay. But and I've got this big, huge, woolly sweater on. I mean, it's huge, isn't it? It is. <laughs> I look like a big red fuzzball, but uh, I thought it was festive and fun and nice and cozy, so I'm wearing it. So who, who's on with us tonight? <laughs> well, let me look. I'm going to get on here. Let's see. Where's my Facebook? Because I cannot read and I see people are, are saying some things. Hold on a sec. Let me see if I can get this going here. Um, whoop, 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 whoop. I know one thing. It was very, very cold here this morning. It 20, was? It was like 29 degrees here. Uh-oh. Where, was it cold where you guys are? Let us know if it was cold, if it was hot, <laughs> <laughs> if it's snowing, if it's raining. You remind me. What's remind that? me of some of those uh, radio talk shows. It's like, hey, it was cold here this morning. Was it cold where you are? Call us at 1-800. <laughs> I should have been a talk show host. I really should have. I, lo I love that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, but it was. It was. Uh, Were you cold? I was cold, but then it got it's up to cold. like. Uh, <laughs> I'm always 50, cold. It got up to like 55 at my lunch. Yeah. So today was what I call a two coat day. I had my heavy coat this morning and a light jacket for the afternoon. Okay, well, I'm just going to read who's all on here. <laughs> Hold on a second. Okay, hello, Valerie. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Charlene. She's on. Uh, Valerie says hi. Amanda Tyree. Hey, girl, I haven't seen you in a while. Marina, good to see you. Stacy, good to see you. Robin Collins, good to see you. Okay, so Charlene says it's freezing. Of course, up there oh, where yeah. she is. Yeah. yeah. I bet it is. Yeah, 29 degrees is nothing to them. Yeah, 28 degrees here. That's what she says. Stacy says it's chilly. Uh, chilly. Where are you, Stacy? I don't even know where you are. Uh, Valerie, uh, Southern Ohio. Yes, she says it's very cold there. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it is. So I know there was a bad cold front that basically is just all the way across the country. Yes. Yeah, it is. But, uh, mm -hmm. Anyway, so it's good to see everybody. Uh, that is on with us tonight. This thing's not working. It's not working. <laughs> <laughs> I've got that phone on us. You know, I'm getting a new system so that we can both be on so we don't have to be all bunched up. Of course, he likes sitting next to me. <laughs> <laughs> this close. Eh. But, and no, I cannot turn my camera sideways long ways because it, 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 won't, it won't do it. So, I am getting a new camera for Christmas. Hey. Yeah, a new phone. I'm getting a new phone. I'm upgrading. So, um, hopefully, yes, hopefully I'll be able to uh, turn it sideways and do all kinds of fun stuff with it. And we'll just have a great 2020. 
Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of this. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. So now it's my... It's starting to work. Yeah, it's starting to come up. Southern Ohio. Okay, we're still... Uh, chilly, chilly, chilly. Okay, here we go. Let's go. So what are we talking about well, tonight, Charlie? So today is the 19th. And uh, so that means we've got 12 more days in December. 12 more days in 2019. Yeah. Uh, 12 more days in this decade. Did you realize we're coming to the end of a decade? Oh, that's so, crazy. It's crazy to think about. It is. It's crazy to think but, about. But uh, usually when you get into this time of year, you start thinking about, you start thinking backwards, like how how did this year go? You know, what what went well, what didn't go so well, what was good about it, what was bad about it, uh, what were the successes of 2019, what were the failures? Here, uh, why don't y'all tell us some of yours while he's talking, just post <laughs> Yeah, what were some of the highlights of your 2019? I wrote down some of your or ours together. Uh -huh. Some of them are just you, but... Some of them are ours together. Like, <laughs> you remember January of 2019, you actually went to New York City. Oh, yeah. Wow, that seems like it was like two years ago, but that was it. That was last January. Right. You're coming was, up on a year. It was our daughter's uh, 30th birthday, and we were just trying to figure out what can we give our daughter for her 30th birthday. Uh, I mean, we don't really do up birthdays very much. I mean, we go out to eat with the the kids and you know buy their dinner and give them a little something I mean it's not a big deal really but you know 30 years old and she's young and she's she's accomplished so much in her life she's got a master's degree in counseling and she works very hard in Dallas and has her own apartment and everything and I've been to uh, New York with my best BFFs and so we had our girls, but she didn't get to go. So Charlie's like, you know, why don't you, why don't you and her go to New York for a couple of days? I'm like, you can't do New York in a couple of days. <laughs> but we did. We went for like three or four days, actually. And I mean, we ran all over that place. I mean, 20 miles a day, probably. We walked and uh, it was freezing freezing cold in New York at the time but had a blast and made memories with our my daughter so that was great thank you for letting us do that well it was kind of funny I was just sitting here I don't really remember it as me coming to y'all saying why don't you go to New York for a couple of days I kind of remember it more like you coming to me and saying me and Bethany are going to New York for a couple of days. Oh, uh, is that what it was? <laughs> <laughs> so, funny how 11 months can rewrite history. <laughs> okay. Well, either way, you allowed, I mean, not allowed, but you you gave us some money so we could go. <laughs> I supported y'all going. You supported us. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, that was good. Um, <laughs> You and I got to go on a cruise in the spring. You remember that? Oh my gosh, yeah. We went on the cruise with Saba. Our com the company that uh, <laughs> I work for and some others work for, um, I earned a cruise, a free vacation with Saba. With Saba. Yep. And so we got to go to the Bahamas on a cruise. Yes, that, that was, was fun. absolutely incredible. Yeah. I've got a couple of people coming in right now saying Charlene had a new grandbaby in hey, January. That's a great highlight. Yes, it is. That's probably the most awesome to me. Uh, I want a grandbaby. We also uh, went to Branson. You remember going to Branson? <laughs> yep. We went to Branson, Missouri. Love Branson. It's a lot like uh, Gatlinburg, but it's uh, a little smaller scale, but it's yeah. still a whole lot of fun. Branson, that, Missouri. That was with our company as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Georgia, went to Georgia to get Philip and moved him back home. Oh, let's see, that was in May, yeah? yeah. And we went May. to Georgia and moved our son home. It took about a week, because we sold all this furniture and everything. <laughs> I'm, I'm a whiz at that. On Facebook uh, Marketplace, you guys can sell and buy anything, okay? I'm telling you, I put that stuff on uh, Facebook Marketplace and sold it just like that. People were coming and picking it up and giving me money. 
It was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then probably the highlight of the year. Mm -hmm. um, in August, we celebrated our 35-year wedding anniversary. Yes. And we went to Gulf Shores. The, he surprised me with and Gulf Shores. Now, yeah. this is one where I did come to her <laughs> and said, we are going to Gulf Shores. Go, Gulf Shores, Alabama, if you don't know where it is. And I do want to put a plug in for Gulf Shores <laughs> because there's lots of beautiful beaches in America, you know, I'm sure in Florida and, and stuff like that. But Gulf Shores is like, it's like a little paradise. It really is. And it's pretty reasonable. So you guys check that out on your next vacation. <laughs> <laughs> but you also forgot in July we went to Oklahoma City yeah, yeah. for our, um, our Saba convention. And that's always an awesome thing because we won, we get recognition and won awards and things like that. Yeah. So, and saw a lot of our team there. So that was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm just saying, I mean, I'm not trying to hit everything that happened this year, but oh, just some well, of the right. high, you know, real <laughs> highlights. And then of course we just got back from Gatlinburg. Oh yes. Uh, not this past weekend, but the weekend before. Gatlinburg's another place I recommend. Uh, the Smoky Mountains, uh, Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg. So much fun. I know a lot of you saw our pictures. I just have wow. to say, I just have to say something and then you start talking. It's funny. <laughs> it, it was a lot of fun. It was so much fun. And that's another place I recommend to you guys. So. Yeah. Okay. And then, you know, that's kind of some of the stuff we did, but also the startup of this group live your best yes we started this group back in I want to say it was May really it was a little bit before that but really didn't get going with it and we really didn't know what we were gonna I didn't know what it's gonna do with it really um, I just wanted somebody to you know to to, to uh, do exercises with and to do this journey this weight loss journey with me and so you know but then we started having more fun and getting more segments and got Coach Clint involved and um, and we've got so much planned for 2020, okay, so. That was a big accomplishment yeah. this year. Yeah. Getting it off the ground, getting to a thousand yeah. uh, people, which I think you're up to 1100 now. Yeah, and I don't want to do it to where, you know, we just have an onslaught of people and you know, I want to get to know people. I want to get to know you guys. And so, um, I know that there's other groups out there that have hundreds of thousands of people in them. Um, but do those leaders on that page know all those people? You know, I want to create relationships. That's, that's the key. If it grows, it grows. And we'll try to get to know everybody, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Um, you guys will be the leader. You thousand will be the leader of 10,000. How about that? <laughs> okay, go ahead. So, um, yeah. anybody share their highlights other than... No, um, who else has some highlights from this past year? Please uh, post those below. below. Uh, let's see, who else? Uh, Gulf Shores is beautiful. Yes, it is. It's gorgeous. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm trying to see who else is um, commenting, and I don't see it on don't here. It's my thing's not updating very uh, well. Okay. So if you have uh, some other things that you've done this year yeah. or some highlights, share them. Share them, please yeah. below. Okay. So you know, and I don't want to make it sound like everything that we did this year was just great and successful and. On top of the world, I mean, no. <laughs> we have our challenging times as well. We have, yes, we do. you know, obstacles that come into our path and that we have to work around or work over, mm. you know, challenges that come. I know that you guys, you know, if you think back over 2019, it may not be about vacations and, you know, trips and fun things. When you think back over 2019, it might be, you know, maybe one of the years you want to forget <laughs> the worst year of your life um, or something, right. So, you know, uh, it could be a lot of good, it could be a lot of bad, it could be a mix. Uh, but there's 12 days left in the year. And so what I want to say tonight is that no matter if your 2019 was great 
if it was mediocre or if it was absolutely terrible and you didn't get done anything that you were hoping to get done, there's 12 days left and my message tonight is finish strong. Mm. You've got 12 days left. You still have the opportunity to finish 2019 strong, to finish on a high note. Yes. And finish with some successes. And the reason that's important is because I believe that how you go out determines how you come in. So write that one down for us. But how you go out. Charlie, write that down. <laughs> how you go out <laughs> determines how you come in. So what am I saying? What do you mean by that? How you go out of 2019 will set the tone for mm -hmm. how you come in to 2020. Wow. So you want to go out with a good foundation. You want to go out with a good mindset. And with an mm -hmm. attitude of success, an attitude of can do, an attitude of finishing strong. Okay. And that will carry you right into 2020. You know, a lot of people, for some reason, they think that on 1 1 2020, that the alarm's going to go off and somehow magic's going to happen. That, that's you know? what I believe. <laughs> That just because the calendar <laughs> rolls over to 2020, that everything's going to be different. And the truth of the matter is, it's just another mm. day on the yeah. calendar. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's just another click of the clock. Yeah. Uh, but, so, why wait till 2020? Why wait till January 1st to say, things are going to be different. You know, I'm going to change my routine. I'm going to accomplish my goals. You can you can finish strong now. You can, you know, think about some goals. Uh, we're going to talk about how to do that, but you know, think about some things that you can still get accomplished in 2019 and actually finish strong. You don't have to limp across the finish line. You don't have to crawl across the finish. <laughs> I know line. some people that are crawling uh, right you now. Don't, you know, you don't have to drop we're out of the race. You. you know, praying. you don't have to drop completely out of the race. Stretch for that line that finish line let's see what they're saying on here let's see um i'm heading out to tabata okay stacy stacy also said that her daughter got engaged last weekend congratulations go. that's a highlight gonna be a new um mom-in-law <laughs> mother-in-law mother right and uh so she's doing tabata with coach grimes way to go stacy and then how you go out determines how you come in that's right charlene she got it and Michelle saying, amen. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I remember when I was running marathons, and that's a 26-mile race. 26 Can y'all imagine 26 miles? I mean, even just walking 26 miles. But, you know, during the course of a marathon, which Green. for me, Oof. it was like a four-and-a-half-hour event. I know yeah. that there's world-class people that can do it in two hours. Mm -hmm. But, like, for me and probably most people, it's like a three- to four-hour event event yeah and during that four hours a lot of good things happen there's a lot of excitement at the beginning of the race you feel that surge of energy you yeah. take off running with everybody and it's great for the first you know a couple of miles or so but then all of a sudden you know the the routine of it the yeah. the distance of it starts to kick in and you, your mind actually starts to play tricks on you and you know when you start maybe you get a sore foot or a sore ankle or maybe your knees start hurting and you're in your mind you actually start thinking why am I doing this I mean I don't know how many times out there on the marathon course that thought went through my mind it's like why am I doing this yeah as a matter of fact I, it reminds me I got to have lunch with the CEO of our company one time and he said what do you like to do as a hobby and I said well I have ran marathons he goes how many and at that time I think I had ran four Mm -hmm. He goes, well, I could understand running the first one, but why the second one? <laughs> you know, it's like, why are you doing Why that? did you do that again? You know, uh, <laughs> yeah. he said, I don't understand someone that would run 26 miles when, you know, there are perfectly good bicycles for that. Yeah. But uh, anyway, what I was going to say was, you know, during the race, a lot of things start happening to you. Your body starts, you know, kind of rebelling against you. And then your mind starts playing tricks with you. It's a lot like life, you know, you got to go up some hills, you got to yeah. go around some barriers, mm -hmm. you know, the wind starts blowing against you, I've ran them in the rain, I've ran them in the snow, yep. 
sometimes there aren't very many people around you encouraging you. I mean, you start off in a big mob, but it all kind of spreads out over the mm -hmm. course of time, and you might find yourself running all alone for a while. And, you know, you're running all alone in the cold, in the rain, or the snow. Your bones are aching. Your muscles are aching. Your mind is telling you, what are you doing? Why did you even try this? And sometimes that's the way life feels. Yeah. It's like, why, why did you set these goals? Why are you trying to get healthy? Why are you trying to, you know, get promoted on your job? Why are you trying to do what you're trying to do? You're crazy. You know, there's so much working against you, and there's nobody supporting you. Why are you trying to do that? But what happens in a marathon is really cool is like when you come around that 25th mile and maybe at that point it doesn't happen but let's say maybe at 25 and a half you come around a corner and you can see the finish line mm -hmm. and there's something about seeing the finish line yep that when you do that uh, you just get a rush and it's like oh my god i almost quit but now i can see the finish line and my running partner used to always call it uh, finish line fever. He said, when you see that finish line, you're going to get finish line fever. And he and it does. It just picks you up. It just gives you an adrenaline rush. You start running a little bit faster. Your muscles start hurting a little bit less. And you start feeling good. You're like, now I know why I did this. Because yep. it's worth it. And you're able to actually finish stronger than how you started or you know how you ran the race and so that's what I want to you know talk about tonight is that you here at the end of 2019 you need to get finish line fever you need to see the finish line and don't drop out don't give up but realize that you can still finish strong you can get finish line fever and still finish strong right and that's what I intend to do that's what I'm encouraging Connie to do. That's what I'm telling my folks at work they need to do. And I hope that you will do as well is think about 2019 and just determine right now, regardless of how it's gone, I don't care if 2019 has been a total disaster. Yep. You can determine when you watch this video that by golly, I'm gonna finish strong. Right. I've got finish line fever. I'm going to finish strong. Um, why, why should you finish strong? Well, you know what? You're going to finish. One way or the other, you're going to finish. Yeah. Why not finish strong? Yeah. You know, don't, don't go out of 2019 uh, totally defeated, you know, totally giving up, uh, you know, down in every category. Uh, finish strong. You're going to have to, you're going to finish the year one way or the other. Just decide, I'm going to finish strong. I'm, come, I'm going out strong. So that's one reason to finish strong. Uh, I can't read my own writing. <laughs> it's amazing what you can do in a short period of time. You may think, well, that's, we've only got 12 days left. What could I possibly do in 12 days? When you set your mind to it, it's amazing what you can accomplish in a short period of time. Have you ever been up against a deadline and maybe you've been procrastinating, you've been putting off something, putting it off, putting it off, maybe cleaning the house because the visitor's coming. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, it gets to be the night before and you kind of rally the troops and you say, hey, grandma's coming tomorrow. We have got to get this house clean. Nobody's going to bed. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> until we get this house clean tonight. Yeah. And, That's me. But you know, Things start happening, people start popping, things start moving, and, you know, an hour goes by, and you look around, and you say, my goodness, the laundry's already put up, the vacuum's already been done, uh, the, dish, the kit, dishes are clean. We got a lot done. Yeah. It's amazing what can get done in a short amount of time when you really put your mind to it. So you can, you can finish strong. Uh, and it feels great. If you need a reason why to finish strong, it's because it really feels good. Yeah. Uh, when you when you're finished. decide, yeah. <laughs> when you decide, like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to get this one thing done. And when you actually are able to cross it off your list, it feels so good. Yeah. And, you know, I want everybody to go out of the year feeling good. Like, 
I don't, again, doesn't matter what's happened up to this point, but for the next 12 days, and when you get to December 31st, I want everyone to be feeling good about these 12 days. Uh, it really feels good when you accomplish something. That's why, now I don't know, guys are like this. That's why guys like to mow their own yards. Is because <laughs> when you get through mowing, you kind of sit back and you look over the lawn and you're like, wow, I did this. Mm. <laughs> you know, it's really cool. It's really a good feeling. It is a good feeling, but then it just about kills you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. Uh, now, here's another reason why you need to finish strong. People are watching to see how you finish. Yes. And that, and that's important. It's important to remember that. That yeah. not only do it for yourself, but do it for the people that might be watching you. Because they're watching to see how are you going to finish. Yeah. And I would say especially if you've had a rough year. Yeah. You know, maybe you've just had setback after setback, challenge after challenge. And, you know, people know what's going on in your life. They know the struggles that you've had. And, you know, be it good or bad, uh, you know, I don't know if it's really a good trait or not, but it's just the way people are. They're like, they're kind of watching and waiting to see if you're like going to just totally collapse. You know, they just want to say, you know, I bet you Charlie's down for the 10 count this time. You know, he's gotten, he's fallen down and he's gotten up six times, but I don't know if he's going to get up this seventh time. You know, the people are like that. You know, some people actually kind of, are happy when you fall. Down I'm and don't not get like up. that. I don't uh, like to see anybody fall. No, and we. Don't, I don't like to fall. I want everybody to win. And we don't want to. <laughs> we certainly don't want people to fall and stay down. No, absolutely but, not. Uh, but you know, people are watching, and thank goodness there are people that are cheering for you and are pulling for you and praying for you, and you know. Sending good vibes your way, sending positive thoughts and encouraging words because they want you to finish strong. And that's why I love this community because that's what we all do is help each other and lift each other up, truly. Yep. And if you don't do that, then you need to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but do it, you know, do it for yourself, but do it, finish strong because other people are watching. Yeah. And it's inspiring, you know, when you see, uh, you know, a, an inspiring story on TV about someone who's just had setback after setback, challenge after challenge, and somehow mm -hmm. they, with determination and focus and discipline, they managed to do something great that nobody thought they would be able to do. And we see those stories and we always look at each other and we say the same thing every time, you know, wipe away a tear. Yep. But then we always say, what's our excuse? You know, it's like, that person just overcame a bunch of obstacles. Oh why can, why can't I finish what I set out to do? Yeah. So it's inspiring. Yeah. You know, every time you hear of somebody rising up and finishing strong, it inspires uh, other people. So, yes. But again, you know, the last reason to do it is because how you finish will determine how you start. How you go out will determine how you come in. So finish strong 2019 because that's going to set the tone for 2020. Yep. Um, so what are people saying? Are people saying anything? No, they're... Are they all checked out on us? No, they're all watching. <laughs> <laughs> they're talking about the, the, the cleaning frenzy, Michelle Robinson. <laughs> She's... She's cleaning frenzy tonight for sure. I'll be doing that this weekend as well. Uh, finish line fever, love it. Take a deep breath and push to the end. That was, yeah. 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 Uh, coach came in and he said momentum for 2020. Yeah, momentum. That's yeah, a good momentum, word. momentum for 2020. And then he said, great show, time for Tabata. <laughs> 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 He's going to go exercise. So, yeah. So, why don't we finish this off with? Um, just recap, um, I've got 2020 vision. Well, I will. I oh, will. I'm sorry. But, I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah. As uh, usual. Let me see. Great show. Okay. So I was just saying it. So just real quick. Yeah. You know, I always, <laughs> somewhere along the way I heard this, uh, from a preacher or somebody, they said, don't ever tell people what to do if you can't also tell them how to do it. Yeah. 
So yeah. like I've told you what to do and I always try to give you like some steps or something on, on how to do it. Uh, so what I've told you to do is to finish strong. Yeah. And so now hopefully people are feeling like, yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to finish strong. So I'm going to give you some tips here on how to do it. Okay. So first of all is divide and conquer. Divide and conquer. Uh, don't think about your whole life as one big whole thing. Divide it up into sections like yeah. house, health, finances, relationships, hobbies, job. You know, put it in the categories. Um, don't try to eat the whole elephant at one time, you know. Uh, that's a famous saying. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but divide and conquer. So, like, divide your life into categories and then just for the next 12 days, let's make this really easy. Yeah. Focus on one area. Just yeah. divide and conquer. Like, you know, I my, haven't met my health goals. I haven't met my, met my financial goals. You know, I haven't got to do things in my hobbies that I wanted to do this year. And they're probably not going to get done over the next 12 days. But I'm going to pick one. I'm going to pick one area and one thing and focus on that one thing and you know start with that uh, start small so i've told connie get big by going small that's one of my sayings you get big by going small you you get entrusted with bigger things when you show yourself faithful with small things so don't try to solve all of your problems at one time or try to accomplish everything you wanted to do this year in the next two weeks, but pick one area and focus on that. Yeah, that's good. So then set one achievable goal and write it down. Right. Just one goal. Okay, so like I'm going to pick a house goal. And then this is one that this is a real goal for us. Oh, okay. Because we've been dragging out all the Christmas stuff. We've been putting away all the fall stuff. Clean the garage. <laughs> Clean and organize the garage. It's like... After Christmas. Yeah, after uh, okay, Christmas. Sometime between Christmas and the new year. Okay. I am going to get that garage organized Ooh. and clean. <laughs> <laughs> and I, Yay! I'm going to write it down. I'm writing it down. I'm putting it out on... Uh, the World Wide Web. I'm putting it out there on Facebook. You're telling all them. I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm putting it out there. I'm making a yeah. commitment. That's what happens when you write it down. Yeah. Is you're making a commitment. Gotcha. And just make it one small, simple thing. Mm -hmm. It might be no more soft drinks. You know, we talked all I year don't need those anyway. about drinking more water, yeah. trying to reduce sugar. You know, maybe you've been up and down on the roller coaster as far as doing that. But for the next 12 days, just write it down. Knock something out. Knock something out. Just say, yeah. okay, if I haven't done well this year, that's okay. For the next 12 days, I'm going to make a small, easy goal. No soft drinks for the rest of the that's year. That's good. So, you know, just write it down. How about financial goal? I'm going to pay one bill. I'm going to pay off one bill. One oh, small pay bill. off yeah. one bill. Okay. Like somebody, their goal. <laughs> maybe like, their goal uh, was excuse to Excuse me, but we got a bunch of bills. <laughs> <laughs> maybe their goal was to get, you know, out of debt, completely out of debt, but they didn't reach that goal. Yeah. Well, fine. For the next 12 days, pick one small bill and pay it. That's you good. Know, just start, the point yeah. is, start small. Okay. Start in one area. Pick one small achievable goal and write it down. Okay. And then, of course, the next thing is do it. <laughs> Actually, do it, whatever you wrote down. Like you know, Nike. Uh, <laughs> Just do but it. But it's going to feel so good when you do. It's like, like I was talking about a while ago, when a guy mows his own yard and we step back and we look at it and we say, wow, look at those straight lines. Smell that fresh cut grass. <laughs> It feels so good. And when that garage is clean, I know I'm going to feel so good. You know, yeah. that, if you can go 12 days, if you can go five days without a soft drink, you're going to feel so good. You're going to look back over the week and say, wow, I did that. You know, I might, accomplished something. Might get a headache on the third day, but just push on through. Push on through. Because <laughs> <laughs> that sugar will, you know, you'll have one of those withdrawals, yeah. you know. 
but you got to push through and once you've pushed through you will feel so much better you will yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, now the next thing as I'm kind of like kind of different but I want to ask people to do this I want you to post about it well, after you've done it it's like you've picked your area you set your goal when you've actually done it I want you to take a selfie and post about it with the hashtag finish strong finish strong <laughs> then so what does that picture look like it might be you holding an empty laundry basket <laughs> you know, yeah. like I got it all done or are you standing in Michelle, front of you your sta housework. Yeah, you standing <laughs> over a clean sink there's yes. no, no dirty dishes inside. Uh, I gotta go clean, <laughs> I gotta go clean uh, this sink. Or maybe, you know, a picture with a clean garage in the background. There you go. You gotta do uh, that. You know, whatever it <laughs> now is. Now that you've said it, you've gotta do it. Uh, I will do it. Okay. All but right. I, I think it'd be fun for people to post a picture. Finish strong. That's right. With the hashtag finish strong. Tell yeah. somebody you did something yep. that you didn't think you would get done, mm -hmm. but you did it. And post about it. Um, clean sink, load of laundry. Oh, in front of a clean car. Oh, my car. Um, oh, here's one. How about this? You in front of a bag of leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, all the leaves have been raked up. But I, I think know. all of ours have been blown away. <laughs> <laughs> they're all blown away. But they're in the neighbor's yard, right? <laughs> they're in the neighbor's yard, yeah. But anyway, I think it's good. Like yeah. it's your way of celebrating, and mm -hmm. you know, it's just celebrating the small wins. Uh, finish strong. Finish strong. Everybody's saying finish strong. Finish strong. Hashtag finish strong. Sorry, I'm reading. Um, just clean my sink. Right. <laughs> Michelle said, "No just cheating." Clean. Now, <laughs> here's what you can't do. Yeah, she. she's wait, 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 she wait. got to take a picture. <laughs> you can't go to Home Depot and stand in front of an empty sink. <laughs> And take a picture. <laughs> oh, that, that would have been a good one. And I can can't put my cheat. glasses on. There we uh, go. I can see now. After you've done it, post a picture. Okay, th yeah. Charlene's taking uh, yeah, notes for notes. us. Thank okay. you, Charlene. Uh, so, one last thing. <laughs> so, you divide and conquer. You, you kind of divide your life up into categories and yeah. take one area. Okay. You set one small achievable goal and you do it. Okay. You post about it. And, you know, with the hashtag of finish strong. <laughs> then the last thing, drum roll. <laughs> pick another one. Pick another what? Another. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> pick another. <laughs> pick another small goal. Okay, gotcha. Set another Okay, one. okay. That sounds good. Because here's, here's the secret. We can do small that. things join together form something big. Absolutely. You get big by staying small. So yeah. write down one, knock it off, celebrate it. Yeah. Go after another one. Say, hey, I got one done. Maybe I can get two. Yep. You get two done, pick another one. Say, wow, here I'm only on the fourth day and I've already gotten three done. That's good. What are you doing? You are developing a can-do mindset. Mm. You're developing a mindset that says that if I set goals and I go after them, I can do it. And that's what we need. That's how you finish strong, and that's how you start strong, is with that can-do attitude of, hmm. you know, can I can I transform my whole life in 12 days? No, but I can accomplish small achievable goals in a 12-day period that will make me feel better about myself. Yep. Can give me some bragging rights. Yep. Might in, actually influence somebody else to do something good. And kind of creates in me a can-do attitude yeah. so that I'm ready. When I go into 2020, I'm like feeling like I can do this. Yeah. You know, failed last year, okay. But 2020, I've got some small victories. Yeah. I think I can tackle my health in 2020. I think I can tackle my finances in 2020. I can tackle whatever I need, things on my job. I can tackle it. In 2020, that's good. Uh, because I've got these small victories to stand on. Yeah. So how you go out will determine how you come in. How you finish will determine how you start. It sets the tone for the new year. So finish strong. Finish strong. Don't drop out. Don't quit. Uh, Don't you if quit? If you have to crawl. <laughs> 
across the finish line. Crawl across the finish line. I know people that are crawling right now. <laughs> and the, you guys are in our prayers for sure. Yes. But I do but know people like that. You know, but they're determined. Just determined yeah. that it, what we're talking about tonight is determination. It's, it's, it's like, just determine. Yeah. I'm not going to quit. Don't quit. I'm, I'm going to get some small victories, even yeah. if it's right here. I don't care if I've had 353 days of bad, I'm going to have 12 days of good. Yeah. Be, de <laughs> be determined. I, you know, so, you know, dismiss those 353 days and just determine that you're going to finish strong these last 12 days. And it'll give you a great feeling. Uh, it'll give you a can-do mindset. And it, like I said, it, might, it probably will inspire somebody else that they can finish strong. If you yeah. can finish strong, I can finish strong. If yeah. they can finish strong, we can finish strong. Yeah. Everybody can finish strong. It's all up here. It's all up here. Muscles are hurting, ankles are hurting, you're dehydrated, the sun's beating down on you, you're in the 25th mile, nobody's, <laughs> nobody's encouraging you, nobody's cheering for you, you feel like, why did I even try to start this? But when you see that finish line mm -hmm. and you get that finish line fever and you say to yourself, I, if I can just go one more half mile, I'm not talking about 26 miles, but if I can just go this last half mile, I will have finished what I've set out to do. And so you get pumped up and you finish strong. So let's go do it. Let's go do Good. it. Let's, let's finish 2019 strong. All right. Sounds good to me. So, yeah, I, I want to challenge you guys to post your pictures. Uh, Michelle, get over there by your your uh, sink and take your picture. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> I'm going to take some pictures, too, of me accomplishing some things around here. Because um, I do have a lot to do uh, this weekend, for sure. And then... Uh, and. If you're out, maybe you need to go for a walk. Maybe, uh, what's some other things that you said? Um, Stop drinking soft drinks. Soft drinks. Clean the garage. <laughs> <laughs> Little bitty Little things. Little things. Maybe you've got a bill that you want to pay yeah. off. Maybe yeah. if it's a small bill, like $50 or $100 left, go ahead and pay, pay that bill off. off. Just feel better about and it. And then take a picture of holding it up. It's paid off, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Or maybe you just made a creative. payment. <laughs> yeah. Get creative. Yes. Think of something that you can do. Or a video or something. That will That'd give you a sense of accomplishment and make you help you feel like yeah. you can do it. You can set goals and you can yeah. check them off as done. Yeah. All right. That was awesome. All give right. me a high five. All right. Give Charlie some high fives and some love. And yeah, some... let me know. I, mean, I love to <laughs> hear. Put the laundry away every day. I love That's to hear, uh, you know, if we're uh, saying the right things, are we bringing the right material that people need to hear? So, you know, if it resonates with you, it makes sense or helps you, you know, send us a quick testimony just saying thank you or this really helps or whatever you want to say. But we like, we like to hear. All up here. We like to hear that it's uh, resonating striking with a, you, striking yeah. a chord with you. Yes, yeah, uh, yeah. So. And so, we just want you also to know that we love you guys. Uh, we we are praying for you, and that you know, through the rest of the twelve days, the twelve days of Christmas. Did you think <laughs> about that? No. <laughs> I think we've already into that. <laughs> But anyway, these next 12 days into the new year, uh, just, you know, be safe and have fun with your families and your friends. Yes, you're doing great. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and um, just be blessed. And uh, let's go into 2020 with that vision, with that focus. And uh, like I said, when we start January 1st, we're just going to really push on through. I've got some things that I'm going to reveal to you and, and show you and help you with as far as our eating and exercise and, uh, and then our mindset as well. And so, uh, you want to say anything? No, I just will say that I've enjoyed doing these on Thursday night and 
It's really helped me. It's stretched me. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm I'm not a uh, nutritionist or a psychologist. I'm just this is something that I'm really interested in, and so I do my own research and reading. Yeah. And you know, try to put these thoughts together. So it's really helped me and uh, stretched me to prepare for this and do this, and also to talk into a cell phone without anybody on the other side. It's kind of weird. <laughs> They're all there. But, uh, well, I just, you know what I mean. It's I'm like talking, you're talking, we're talking to ourselves. I'm talking to a tripod <laughs> with a, a tripod. phone hanging on it. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, it takes some getting used to. It but, is, uh, and a lot of them know, too, because they do live videos, too. But, yeah, it's uh, been enjoyable, and it's helped me to grow, so all right. I've enjoyed it. All right. Blessings, everyone. Merry Christmas. And we will probably, I'll see y'all before the new year, but uh, we will be back together after the new year, uh, that first week, uh, and, and start 2020, our vision, okay? Love you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> I got to turn this.